Brussels has been warned its economic recovery plans could bring higher unemployment, as the bloc's economy lags behind the U.S. U.S. President Joe Biden has announced a stimulus package that would see annual spending reaching $1.9 trillion, one pound and 30 pence TRN. The plan will help America return to its pre-pandemic economic levels by mid-2021. In stark contrast to President Biden's swift response to the crisis, the EU's recovery fund packages will only help Eurozone countries reach their pre-COVID levels by mid-2022, a year later than the U.S. The delay could cause more damage, as some economists warned unemployment will rise and more economic wounds will be added to those inflicted on the bloc by the 2008 crash. Karsten Berzeski, an economist at ING Germany, said, the question is what we want to achieve. Do we want this short-term momentum or do we want to use the money to improve the structure of the economy in a sustainable way? In Europe, it's the latter we need. But Eric Nielsen, Unicredit's chief economist, said the difference in spending plans compared with the U.S. is mind-boggling and the Eurozone approach is severely inadequate. The Eurozone, which includes most but not all of the EU's members, fared better than initially thought during the final three months of 2020. It thus set Brussels up for a less contracted recovery going into the new year. The bloc hopes to soften the blow and to stir growth as its vaccination program makes a start. Southern European nations who were hit worst at the beginning of the pandemic look set to receive the largest amounts of EU loans, notably, Italy will receive €222 billion, Euros, €194 billion, pounds, €85 billion, Euros, €74 billion, pounds, of which is a grant, while €124 billion, Euros, €108 billion, pounds, will be given in low-interest loans. Many on the continent now fear that the money could further tether countries to Brussels. They fear they might be asked to implement harsh austerity measures, as was Greece post-2008 after accepting loans from the European Central Bank and International Monetary Fund IMF. In its latest quarterly forecasts, the European Commission predicted the EU's gross domestic product would increase by 3.7% this year, down from its previous forecast of 4.2%.